Hope. Is it possible to bring hope to an abandoned child, an abused teenager, a confused young adult? Who will do it? Where? How? To whom does this enormous task fall? We hear the cries of despair from the streets of Mexico and the Dominican Republic. They echo out of the slums of Haiti, El Salvador, and Nicaragua. They tumble down the hillsides of Guatemala and Honduras, and they haunt us from the cities of Peru and Bolivia. Cries of hunger, cries of thirst, cries of loneliness, cries of despair. There are 40 million children living in extreme poverty in Latin America and the Caribbean, sleeping in the street, begging for food, dying of disease and malnutrition. It is one of the great tragedies of our time. But even in times of deep despair, there is still hope. Throughout Latin America and the Caribbean, loving homes have been created especially for these precious children. Homes known as Nuestros Pequeños Hermanos, or Our Little Brothers and Sisters. These homes were started over 52 years ago, when a young priest refused to turn his back on children in need. It was 1954 when Father William Wasson took in two brothers who were living on the streets. Today, Nuestros Pequeños Hermanos provides a home and hope to children in nine countries. With the support of Friends of the Orphans, the homes of NPH give these children a chance to dream and hope for a better future. For me, NPH means something very important in my life. NPH has helped me achieve many things, most importantly in school. NPH is my family. My hope is to be a professional and, if I have the opportunity, to come back to MPH to work with the children. Above all else, I want to help my little sister and brother so that they can fight for the dreams that they have and reach for their goals. I want them to feel like winners in the end. NPH brings hope to children by believing in them. The first person I would say was Reinhardt. When I, the first time I came into NPH, he just sat me down and looked straight at my eyes and said, Marlon, I brought you here because I want you to be somebody. I'm an example. If I didn't get that support from anybody, if I didn't have somebody who had hope on me, because I was almost a street kid, and suddenly NPH believed on me, had a dream with me, and they took me out of there, and they pushed me, and now I'm here. I'm here trying to give that to my children, you know, my children. My children. The same faith that Reinhardt had in Marlone is given to thousands of children every day in the nine NPH homes. Every child who joins our family is accepted as they are and loved unconditionally. A committed staff, dedicated volunteers, and worldwide supporters are making a difference, one child at a time. I chose this profession for the love I feel for the children. To me, all of the children are like my own sons and daughters. I love them and they are very special in my life. I work for NPH, first of all, because I love the children. Secondly, I see there is a huge amount of talent at NPH, a talent so great we must not let it go to waste. The talent that Yolani describes is encouraged and developed through our strong educational programs. NPH schools are often among the best schools in the country. From our flourishing Montessori programs through university level studies, each child at NPH is encouraged to develop their skills and to pursue their own goals and dreams. From their first wobbly steps in the baby house to the first book they read in the library, to computer classes and science labs, to the trade they choose to learn, and finally as they celebrate on graduation day, their NPH family is beside them each step of the way, giving love, providing support, and offering hope. Consider the difference these children will make in the world. 
a future engineer who will design a bridge strong enough to withstand a hurricane, a future teacher who will bring hope to her students, a future doctor who may treat patients who would otherwise never receive medical care, a future father who will be a strong role model to his children and community, a lawyer, a social worker, a taxi driver, a bank teller, a seamstress, a parent, a mentor, a role model, a leader. Faces of Hope The Children The Staff The Sponsors The Volunteers You